Oh man, we have a shocking episode today. Imagine winning the lottery or winning the jackpot and then you go home. You win the bag. You win the bag. You celebrate it and you go home and there's goddamn robbers following you home. And you don't even notice because you're so excited about your winnings. Let's find out what happens here. Let's get into it. As a Bay Area couple goes from celebrating a big win to feeling lucky to be alive. They were followed home from the Hard Rock, only to be shot and robbed once they got home. Fox News Chief Genevieve Curtis spoke with a couple tonight about this heroin crime and apparently a bit of a long road to recovery ahead of them, huh? Yeah, absolutely. They definitely have a healing journey ahead of them, Mark. It was a horrific ordeal for this couple. Both of them shot in their legs outside of their home. They tell me their life will never be the same, but it all started with a great date night, and they told me they were so wrapped up in enjoying that time together that they didn't even notice they were being followed. We want to warn you that some of this video that you are about to watch might be difficult. What? What? I hear another gunshot, and my first thought was, they've killed him. I was hysterical, screaming, crying. These are the terrifying moments when a Riverview couple was ambushed in their driveway. Both of them shot by... Y'all see this mess? There's people out there lurking and hunting people that's winning jackpots. Keep your eyes open, civilians, because you might end up like this. This is crazy. This is some foolish, barbaric action right here. Y'all telling me y'all was that bored. Y'all couldn't go search for a job, but y'all could go search for somebody to rob. Can somebody make that make sense? Nah. By masked men demanding money. The chilling ring doorbell video captures Val de la Cruz, who was shot in both legs, pleading with the suspects, standing over him with two guns. One of them covers the camera. A neighbor came outside, and the men ran back to the car and drove away. I came in sleep. Val is in unbearable pain, unable to walk, and doctors say it could be six months. His girlfriend, Kim Chambliss, was shot. To the point that they crippled the man. For what, two, three thousand dollars? They crippled the man for a good two, three thousand dollars. Now you're gonna go serve a life sentence, possibly death sentence, because you shot two people for two, three thousand dollars. And they don't want to go get a job. You know how easy it is to go online, go on D.com and type in what you want to apply for and apply for the job and wait for them to call you? than to go out robbing and lurking and hunting victims. Like, come on, man. Make that make sense. But again, we live in America. Common sense ain't so common these days. But don't worry, because they think they did this at night, that they just free to go. Oh, no. Nothing. I mean, nothing is a secret in America. They got cameras on every angle, and they're going to catch your funky ass. Not in her calf. The couple says Thursday, August 1st, started off as their monthly date night. Uh, we don't get to do it often just because we both work extremely hard. The couple capped off the night at the Hard Rock Casino. Val joked he needed to win money back from dinner and drinks. I hit and I got a jackpot. And, you know, I was dancing. Not once to press their luck, the couple cashed out with about $3,000 in winnings and drove home to Riverview. Investigators say these two men, Marcus Jenkins and Tristan... They go to demons. They go to demons that was on demon time when they did this action that crippled the man and shot his wife in the legs too. You shot the wife in the leg and then you shot the man twice and then crippled the man. They go to demons that was on demons time right here. Look at their face. Look at they got them face. Broke, jealous, envy, funky Negroes. Jesus Christ. And right, we're watching that the whole time. We're just average people, you know, who are out having a good time, you know, who love each other and, and with enjoying each other's company. And to know that we didn't even realize that people were following us. You every keep step your eyes open, man. It's scary. It's scary. How many people did do that too? Investigators say the suspects followed the couple throughout the casino for two hours and then all the way to their home where they robbed the couple of Val's watch and jewelry and took him's purse. But the couple says they lost much more than that. This is scary right here. This is scary. Imagine if something like this happened to one of you. God forbid it happened to one of you guys. 
You see this cruelty? That's why we got to put convicts like this away for good. Keep them inside the cage. You know how they, they, they try to trap Donkey Kong in the cage? Keep them in the cage for good, for life. Then the streets will be cleared of crime. If all they got to do is put these convicts away for good. Because this could be your mother or this could be your father that's on the floor after having a good night. And number one, two, you should have kept your eyes on the swivel. What I mean by that is you should have been paying attention to your surroundings. He said he jumped up and celebrated. Ain't no celebrating. People ain't happy for you. No, people want what you got. They want the money. and They're going to go hunting by any means necessary instead of getting their funky ass a job. This is crazy. This is lunatic. And this is a barbaric action that spook do not condone. We've always felt safe in our home, safe in the neighborhood. Every, you know, to have that taken away, to have um, just such an insecure feeling. Now, Val owns his own company, and as you can imagine, it is difficult to work right now. So they are facing mounting medical bills on top of this. They have set up a fundraiser. To okay, he was a business owner, so he could take care of the bills. That's it. That's what, I, that's what I'm talking about. I salute to sir. Got shot on the leg, lived, and still got the business operating. That's, salute to you. But them demons, throw their ass and lock their ass up good in the cage. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And wait right there, woman. We got a spe another crazy episode. Safety alert. A Miami-Dade school's psychologist arrested and accused of heinous acts. Investigators say he sent out videos that show children engaging in sex what? acts. And when police no. arrived at his home, no. he barricaded himself inside a bathroom. Let's no. get right to Local 10's Leanne Motohone live in Southwest Miami-Dade with the disturbing details. Leanne. We're talking about a child psychologist accused of possessing and distributing child porn. The oh. raid that resulted in his arrest took place at the home right behind me. The school district says he is now fired. Good morning, Mr. What? Turner. 62 year old Robert Lee Turner appearing in bond court Tuesday, visibly injured and wearing a safety smock. He's charged with two counts of distributing child pornography, five counts of possessing child porn, and two counts. I keep telling y'all, death to pedos. You know, them nasty, freaky, not right up here people. Yeah, those are the people that need to catch some life in prison. Possibly, possibly death. Because this is all nasty, brutal, and disgusting. I keep telling you, no matter how old they is, devil comes in all shapes and forms. 20 years old, 30 years old, 50 years old, 60, even 70 and 80 years old. They out there lurking, and they're predatorial. And they doing nasty stuff out there. That's against biblical terms. You can't be doing, hey, man. You know what? May God repentance you and forgive you for your nasty ass sin. You nasty. Ounce of resisting arrest. What's even more disturbing, Turner is a child psychologist specializing in patients with autism and was recently employed by Miami Dade Public Schools. He was working with special needs kids, including kids with autism. Miami Dade police say they received a cyber tip from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children submitted by Instagram. Turner is accused of sending two videos to 50 users using his account, Dr. Robert L. Turner, an account that has since been deleted by Meta. The same account allegedly contained five images and videos of children, the descriptions of which are too disturbing and graphic for television. Police say he described one of those videos in a comment as yummy. On Disgusting. Wednesday, police served a search warrant at his house, the signs of which are still evident by the broken front door. Police say Turner tried resisting arrest by hiding in a bathroom and prevented his hands from being cuffed. Police say he admitted the account was his to viewing child porn and even identified one of the images. No unsupervised contact with any minor children. Through the window of this vehicle parked outside Turner's home, we can see this Miami-Dade school's exceptional student sweater. The district tells Local 10 Turner was employed with them since 2017. And while he was not assigned to any one specific school, he was sent to schools throughout the district as needed. MDCPS calls the allegations against Turner disturbing and says he's been terminated and will never again be employed by the district duh buddy you've been caught with your you've been caught not doing nasty stuff on sending nasty text messages and doing nasty horrendous acts that go against the bible so now what's gonna happen 
is God is going to unleash his wrath on your pedo, nasty, funky behind. And he going to make sure that judge, that man right there, that good old judge, sends your life for good, for great, and be forgotten forever. Because I'm tired of these nasty, ragdoll, good-for-nothing human beings. Anyways, you guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in with Spook. I'm telling you all, again, keep your eyes open and on the swivel. Always peep your surrounding. If you come in from the bank or ATM, always open your eyes and look around. Don't look down on your phone. Look up and keep your eyes on the swivel. Thank y'all for tuning in with me. You guys have a great night and a blessed day. See you guys later.